All right. So what is taxonomy? Let's start with uh, the creator of ta taxonomy, Lanus, and uh, I'm probably mis mispronouncing his name and misspelling it at the same time. Sue me. Uh, I, I've I've read the Wikipedia page. I, I'm pretty sure it starts with an I, but I don't care much. Anyway, this is the creator, or the, what I I should say, um, the developer of um, of a system. And what is this system? And I, I'm also doing this in a kind of way where you can guess what I'm saying, just in case you're studying for the test. So Linus is the developer of a classification system and what did he classify well he didn't just uh, classify types of volcanoes or for all I know he did but um what he classified was classified living organisms and he called this classification taxonomy so uh, let me go ahead and do a little circle and point to taxonomy to make this really obvious in any case so back to this so if I had to define taxonomy as a word it would be the classification of living organisms simple, simple enough so let's go ahead and move on to the basic classifications or the categories he made to classify these things so Let's start, we're, we're going to start from the most generic to the most specific, and we're also going to add on the one that he didn't include, because you have to keep in mind, this guy lived a very, very long time ago, and he classified things by looking at them, not looking at their DNA like we do today. So, let's see. We have, and I also want to give clues, because if you're studying for a test, this will maybe help you, you can say things before I say them so it this category is basically the most generic category um, and, and here we haven't studied this too much so I'm coming up with mononics rather than um, descriptions of what they are so just think of royalty for the first one very generic I know how else to put it let's go ahead and let me spit out the first one kingdom So kingdom was the first uh, class. Well, not the first that he made, but this is the first one we have in the list so far, and it is the most generic. All right. You also have, hmm, in terms of a mononic that I could think of, uh, I can't think of anything. This is just something we, you really have to memorize, or I'll make another video on it. Phylum, phylum. I think that's how you pronounce it and then you also have um, think of the room you sit in in school class coming up with corny mononics here uh, think of a judge in court what does he say when he's mad that would be order okay uh, think of who you are probably living with or who you once lived with anyway that would be family and uh, hmm this one in terms of a mononic I'm going to shoot out uh, words like intelligence being very smart and they relate to the word genius which is a smart person but it also sounds like genus and I guess uh, when the professor gives me notes on this subject and I, when I read the book I'll be giving you more information on that and here we also have basically as a hint this is the most specific and uh, think about in fact the uh, most specific there's a bit of a mononic in there when uh, I look at it I hope the screen's not blinking. This zoom in pro program is quite weird, but speed. Hope, hope you're getting it. Anyway, let me sp fill in the blank space, which is species. The most specific way of uh, classifying an organism of some type. Give it a specific name, the species. So, anyway, 
that's that so along with all that these are the ones he came up with basically he created kingdom phylum class order family genus and species okay so this all of this relates back to Linus and you'll see that uh, in books where they're, they're defining a like a species or kingdom or or one of these you might see like a little L next to it or a, a, like an LEA or something like that a symbol indicating that he's the one who classified it all those years ago so very interesting person in a sense now there was something added uh, much later and this was can you guess can you guess basically domain and um, he wouldn't have known it because it's something you kinda have to look real deep into a, a cell to see and I'm trying to give you a hint of what a domain is already used five minutes so um, think about two types of domains and there let me go ahead and give you the etymology well not of domain but it domain split into two things here uh, actually, let me get a blank page uh, slide alright so we are dealing with domains and we have two types we have eukaryotic and I'm spelling out the whole name here and not uh, abbreviating it like normal for a reason and prokaryotic it's a tongue twister so our professor told us if we knew Latin we would be able to tell him what these words were and basically, karyot, the word karyot, which is contained in both these words, means nucleus. So, uh, karyot means nucleus. So, I uh, don't think I have to write it out for you. Now, for eukaryot, let me uh, change colors arbitrarily here. Eukaryot. Well, I mean, just you here actually is a as a prefix changes uh, the definition and it, it's basically Latin for true so you have true nucleus so basically this is defining cells that definitely have a nucleus in a sense I guess you could say now with prokaryotic and let me uh, change colors arbitrarily again um, pro is a prefix that means before and uh, I think some of us should have remembered that from grade school so pro this is before nucleus so the, the essential difference here eukaryote has a nucleus prokaryotic does not have a nucleus I looked this up on Wikipedia I got different definitions in terms of eukaryotic uh, that it had more a complex system and, and didn't specify about the nucleus but if you have a multiple choice question and that comes up you know what to put so let me see how much time I got left here almost up to 10 minutes so I'm going to stop this video here and continue about taxonomy in the next video